So traditionally our hatcheries were all flow through. So a flow through means taking water from either a river or a loch, putting it through the tanks once and then putting it back into the same position that it came from. And that. The problem with that is you don't have any, any control over the environment. You can't control the temperature, you can't control the water quality very well. And that you spend a lot of time either heating it in the winter, it can be down as low as two degrees, and you want to get it up to 12, so you're raising it 10 degrees, and then you're putting it straight out into the river. Or in the summer, it could be up at 20 degrees coming out the river, you want to take that back to 12, so you're trying to cool it down. And that like so. The decision was made to go to a recirculation um, hatchery. Recirculation uh, means you're recycling 96% of the water, so therefore the energy you're putting into it, you're reusing it, you know, you're not wasting it at all. Like, uh, in a natural environment, uh, a salmon reproduces in the river, in the freshwater environment. When the fish goes to a smolt and heads back down to the river mouth to go back out to sea, from that egg to that smolt, in the uh, natural environment, you have a 95% uh, mortality rate, 5% survival. In a ras production area where you control the environment, we've turned that around. We now have a 10% mortality rate and a 90% survival rate. So with the recirculation, what we do is we take it through um, sand filters and UVs initially, then enters into the fish area, into the fish tanks. From there, it'll flow back to a drum filter, through biofilters, through vacuum degassers, into an oxygenation system, then we repressurize it and set it back to the tank. Um, under the fish tanks and under the corridors, there's currently 37 kilometres of pipework on five different levels, connecting fish tanks to RAS systems, fish tanks to fish transport systems, and all the while we use pumps to move everyone. Choosing the, the, the pump brand, we have to look into the, the sustainability, reliability, the maintenance and service, and there we have had the Brunfoss as a reliable partner since we began in 1986. In the bigger picture, um, I mean, Brunfoss uh, pumps help us maintain fish survival rates. Um, they help us um, achieve um, greater water reuse. So fresh water, we're not having to waste so much. Um, we're able to move it around quicker, easier. And uh, reliability, um, we know the pump, we put it in and switch it on, it's going to run for us 24-7. Um, for the duration of the pump manufacturer has specified. And uh, reliability comes into that. And obviously, uh, power usage as well is a big factor for us. My team and myself have been here working on site since 2019, actually running the plant, running the process. And so far to date, we've had no major breakdowns. We've had no fish losses in the, in the facility. The smolts have been received by our marine sites and we've had compliments back saying it's the biggest, most robust uh, smokes they've had. They've also fed straight away on day one, which has never happened before from other uh, smoke suppliers. So that, to me, is our biggest achievement.